In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the most effective ways right now to be able to attack man-to-man -man coverage out of the gun type formation in Madden 23. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to learn more about the gun type offense, make sure to check out my gun type offensive ebook. You can get that full offensive ebook um, by joining our Patreon for just $10. You'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So again, if you want to check that out, the link is down in the description below. Okay, guys, so we're, like I said, we're going to take a look at uh, gun tight. We are in the Washington uh, Commander's Offensive Playbook. I do believe that the Washington Playbook has probably the best combination of tight and bunch, as well as a couple other formations that's really good. And we do have a full ebook breaking down the Washington Playbook. The play we're going to be taking a look at today, though, is out of PA Cross. This play can be found in several playbooks in the game and is one of the best quick snap plays uh, in this game. So play PA cross, and you can literally run this play stock, uh, but I want you to see something. This route on the right, if you have a good, um, if you have a good route runner, and you want to run this play specifically with your uh, with your corner route to the short side, you'll see he's going to get that cut right there, and you can freeform this to the outside. So not only do we have that, but we have this nice little angled uh, slant route that's really really good at getting separation against man as you can see right there. So those are two main routes um, that we can build around. Now, what I like to do um, is if I have an outside apprentice, and you'll see from bunch, if I come, if I audible over here from the bunch formation, you're gonna see that that outside apprentice is gonna be on the outside uh, receiver spot, and that's Julio Jones. So what I like to do is motion him to the left side and put him on a C route and then snap the ball basically when he sets his feet. And what you'll see is this C route is one of the best man beating routes in the entire game. It's been, I think, probably the best man beating route in the game this year. Um, and so it's very important in this year's game that you do have an outside apprentice, I think, because you can't get this C route really from anything else. It, it's really the main, the main component of the you know outside apprentice so you if you don't have outside apprentice i'll give you something else that you can do with this but i will say just briefly here this is a very critical route uh and, and i think it's something that's like a must have in my opinion now if you don't have outside apprentice my recommendation would be to take jones and put him on a slant and still motion him to the left and you'll see right here that he'll come over the middle you know kind of and be a late late read for you against man to man now the other thing that i want to show you is uh something that's becoming pretty popular in this game is to shade underneath and basically play um basically play cover two man so they're going to shade underneath and they're going to have two deep halves okay if you see this this uh route to the tight end is one of the best ways to attack this coverage. So what you'll see here, see how he gets that separation, and you can actually high ball and literally lead him right in between these two deep halves. What should happen on this play is the corner or the the corner route from Godwin should basically pull the zones um, to the outside. Okay, so that is what we're looking for here. So again, I'll show it one more time against cover two man. So if you watch Godwin on the right, what you should see is the C route and Godwin together should both pull these deep halves to the outside, and it leaves this massive window in the middle of the field where you should be able to hit the tight end. And you can actually hit this tight end even if they don't shade underneath. Even if they don't shade underneath, there's a lot of opportunity to hit this tight end. So it forces them out of the pressure. It's really hard to blitz this play. Uh, so there you see again. See how wide open this is. Just freeform up. Now you want to. You really what you want to do there is, um, and obviously in, in Mutt you're going to have a better tight end uh, than the Bucks have. But really what you're looking to do is you're looking to freeform it. You want to get it as far away from the guy behind him. So you see right here, freeform up, and you see you're going to get that catch animation right there, which is really really effective. So not only do you have great man beaters on every other route on the play, but if they try to shade underneath or do anything like that, then you're going to have this, this uh, angled streak. You'll see here if they play like a, a middle third, it can stop this, but you do have a great opportunity in this year's game uh, to be able to ag that. 
But again, if they play single high safety, you're going to see here, it's going to be hard for them to stop everything else that you can do on this play. Now, I do feel like it's important to showcase this play against two uh, uh, against zones. So cover three. If you face the cover three, the main read is this corner right on the right. So what you'll see here, pass free form that. Once that DB, once that corner kind of turns his hips back, uh, that's when we want to throw this against cover three. So show it to you here. I will say cover three is not bad uh, against this specific setup, but you are throwing like right in there. Uh, he's actually playing it fairly well. You can also hit this. Um, you can also hit this crosser, and if you know it's zone, then this C route, I would turn him into an in route or a slant. So you'll see here. There it is. See how tight it's a little tight to throw, but I'm telling you in game this is a little bit easier to hit. Um, and then cover four drop. This play kills cover two. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But if you get a cover four drop, you'll see here. You kind of want to just come back to the ball and cut it off. It's not the best against zone. Um, it's really one of the better man beaters in the game. And if you want it to be good against zone, you need to streak Otten instead of have him on this uh, angled streak. And what you'll notice is if you do that one adjustment, you'll see here. It becomes a little easier to cut that off against that corner. The other thing, though, is um, this is really, really, really good against cover two, uh, as you can probably imagine. Because, again, this really unique streak, you're just going to basically pass it right over the top, just like that. Um, just highball it. And, really, I'm just highballing it straight up field. So I'm able to beat man really well out of this play. I'm also able to beat cover two. Cover three and cover four, this isn't the best against. We do have other plays against that. But this is an absolute destroyer of man coverage this year. It is very, very difficult for them to be able to play man-to-man -man, um, against this play because they have to do so many things uh, to their coverage to even be close to defending it. And then you always have an opportunity, if you want to, to have a one-on-one -on -one aggressive catch. And if they shade underneath, which is becoming very popular to shade underneath, you're going to have this angled or this um, this streak right there, just like that. So that is why tight is so powerful. I think tight is very versatile offense this year, very good against man, which is the main meta. And then you also have a lot of good plays that we have in the ebook that teach you how to destroy zone coverage. We can bomb every coverage in the game for a one play touchdown. That's how good tight is this year. If you want to get my full gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you check out my Patreon. Uh, I got a Washington ebook where we break down the gun tight in a lot of detail. So if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description below and click the link down in the description.